Gavin Gladding was my husband and the father of my two young children. We had celebrated our 14th wedding anniversary just 11 days before he was killed, and I've known him for almost half of my life. His passing and the way in which it occurred has caused immeasurable pain and heartache for me and my children. On the morning of September 16th, I lost my rock, my biggest supporter, my best friend, and my partner in life. My children lost their daddy and a part of their innocence that day. The life that we dreamed up, created, and built for ourselves was turned upside down that morning. And I am day by day trying to pick up the pieces and face the reality of life without my husband and the father of my children. After learning of what happened, my daughter asked me, why didn't he just stop his car and say, I'm sorry? If you hurt someone, you say, I'm sorry. The thought that someone would just drive away and not stop was completely incomprehensible to my eight-year-old daughter. And it is incomprehensible to me. The acts of the defendant from the moment that he decided to drive away were entirely self-serving. To date, he has shown no remorse for his actions. Aside from the comments that I heard in the courtroom this morning, he has been uncooperative with law enforcement and has not explained what he was doing in the early morning hours of the incident and why he veered off the road, striking and killing my husband with his vehicle. The truth of what had occurred that day would bring some closure to my family. Therefore, I respectfully request that you hold him accountable for his actions on the day of September 16th and those days that followed, and that you sentence him to the maximum term allowable by law. Thank you.